Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Already a successful homestand. They'll try to finish with the exclamation mark tonight. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Monsters are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Here's a shot. And that one flies over the net. Takes the feed. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Great forecheck by Balotesta. Moves it quickly over to Mitchell. The Bruins have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bellows. Pumps it away in his own end. Oh, a little cat burglar-like play with the stick. Nicely done. Poked away in the offensive zone by Bellows. To the front. Fires it. Right in the slot, and it goes just wide. Well, it goes wide, but the puck is finding him, James. He's getting to the right place at the right time. If he continues these habits, one is going to convert. With possession along the wall. James. Uh, I mean, the first five strides right from puck drop were urgent. And when you're aggressive and you're urgent on the puck, you find a way to put it in. Well, this is a quick release shot that's going to beat the goaltender low blocker side. And he couldn't catch up to it with his stick or his blocker. And it winds up in the back of the net. The Bruins get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. Passes on over to Kirk. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Picked up along the wall by Mete. Moves it to Walsh. throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Oh, James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal where you out-battle and out-will your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eye's still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down, and you execute. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. More than half the period left to play. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Here's a short pass to Walsh. And he takes the feed. The Monsters get a hold of the puck in their own end. And loses possession after a solid hit. Grabbed along the board by Foody. Passes the puck over to Walsh. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Providence has got it along the wall. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. And that's poked away. Takes it and looks ahead. And he loses control of the puck. Quick feed to Good Branson. Looking to set up offensively. Fires it on net. Denies him on the slapper. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's over to Walsh. Sends the pass in front, and that goes off someone in front. Providence has got the puck against the half wall. Whiffs on that, picked up by Faudet. He carries the puck up along the wing. Grabs control of it at the point. Easy save by Kaiser. Slides the puck over. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Mete. Cleveland's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Godet. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. They put the puck into the offensive end. Passes it over to Mete. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. The Monsters gain control of the puck against the wall. The blocker saved by Kaiser. 
Taken along the wall by Lauco. Moves it quickly over to Olivier. Receives the pass. Bellows looks around. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. The Bruins have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. The Monsters will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Providence has got possession here in their own end. Slides it across to Mitchell. Moves it to Crosby. And it's a quick pass to Kaiser. Takes enough, but he's still got the puck. Crosby's got the puck. Oh, a save by Greaves. Here's a short pass to Melatesta. Takes the pass. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Skates to the crease. Blocked in front. Scooped up along the wall by Melatesta. Gives him nothing in front. What pressure here in the offensive end. You gotta shoot the puck. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. And they send it right back to him. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Steps into the offensive end. The Monsters will play it through the neutral zone. Bellows is out of the box, but they remain shorthanded, and he'll join the penalty kill. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. The Bruins played along the boards. Shot! Too much congestion in front. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Corrales ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Monsters will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Loco's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. The Monsters will serve two minutes in the box. They'll play some four on four. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on one all over. Providence's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. The Bruins gain possession. Quick feed to Mitchell. Providence has got the puck. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Mitchell. Now a quick pass to Bellows. Pass in front, couldn't complete the pass. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Hammers one at the net. Puck scooped up by Mete. And that shot dies in traffic. Played big in the moment there. They gain the zone from the left side. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Hammers it on net, they score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. The Monsters are making the most of their opportunities here in this opening frame with the early lead. Yeah, it's been back and forth play here, and they've competed. James, it's been a good game, but now they get the go-ahead goal, so they can play with more confidence. Puck dumped in. Providence has got possession of the puck. Pass to Foodie. Jaeger's almost out of the box. Center and feed. Ah! 
That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Bears are up by one in this one because they're controlling the game, James. They're dictating the pace of play, and they're converting on their opportunities. Quick pass to Loco. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. Trying to clear the puck. They get it done. And he hangs on to the puck. Cleveland's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Handles the puck. And we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed. And the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence with the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on a power play. And as a result, they score. Providence is in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push and a nice play there to get the equalizer. Return pass. Sends the pass over. Olivier's got a goal in this tied game, James. You know it'll be him that'll be looking to break it. Feeds it across the ice to Corelli. Jaeger's got the puck in his own zone. Providence has got the puck. Off the left wing and into center. Puck picked up by Olivier. A little back and forth. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. There it is, and he's leading his team in goals for a reason, James. He's got a real knack for the net and uncanny ability to disguise his shot. The Bruins have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Walsh is stick handling in his own zone. Feeds it to Mete. Moves it quickly over to Foody. And the puck takes a funky bounce off the broken stick on the ice. Foody's drink snaps in two and he gets back to the bench to get a new one and back into the play. Oh, oh no! Locked as it goes off the outside of the post. The Bears bench showing some frustration there as they hit the post. Listen, when you're only down in the game by a little bit, you have to find a way to claw your way back in. But they... He's got a step! And there's the save! Unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James. It's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Rakul is taking it from his own end. Poked away at center ice. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. That's moved up ahead. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Bruins are off to the box. Interference the call. Cleveland's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. And they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Sillinger's got it along the wing. Excellent stick work on the play. Down the right side and into the zone. Sends the feet in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Broken up with a stick. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. And we get a whistle as 
as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Kirk's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Providence has got the puck inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Tremendous stop by Greaves. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And he takes a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Providence has got it in their own zone. Gets the puck over to Foodie. Centering pass. The shot. The Bruins get the job done shorthanded. We are still tied here. An effective PK, you have to read, be aggressive on those reads. And look what happens. They get a ton of shots on net. Moves it to Kaiser. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Sends a pass over. The Monsters played along the wing. The Bruins have it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Here's a centering pass. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Here's a short pass to Corelli. Providence has got the puck along the boards. Taken by Mitchell. From the left side, they gain the zone. Let's move to the middle. Just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Drives to the paint. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. That brings new meaning to execution in small spaces, James. And it's not just on the forehand. He moves it to the back end for a beautiful deep to beat the goaltender. Cleveland's got the lead after that last goal here in the back half of period number two, but Cheryl, it's been an unconventional way to find that lead. Well, yeah, they haven't held any possession time, James, and they've really been sloppy. I mean, their coaching staff's been yelling, giving an earful all game long. Now it's a question of what are they going to do with the lead and can they turn it around? It Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Into the attacking end. Providence has got a hold of it along the wall. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Takes it into the slot. And we are tied. New game here, Pogger. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Some goalies have cat like reflexes, and tonight he's just a little slower, James, to get across, and unfortunately it hits him. He doesn't get all of it, and it winds up in the back of the net. Providence is pushing the offensive end, gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing, too, James. Yeah, at the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored on, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Score! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. I love when offense is generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck, and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. Cleveland's jumped in front by a goal here late in period number two, and... They have weathered the storm here, Cheryl, but they've gone in front. Well, it isn't over yet, but they certainly are in a good position with the lead heading into the intermission, James. Now it's about staying the course, playing confident, managing the puck, and getting it done. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. A great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. 
Providence's equalizer comes on a lot of hard work here in period number two. The coach will be happy with this performance, the pushback, the fight to claw their way back in late in the second, and this will set them up nicely for the third. Cleveland's on the attack, and he slides it quickly to Sillinger. critically important. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it, and then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Cleveland's gone up by one here late in period number two. Now to see if they can build on this when they get to the third. Well, they'll want to pounce right off this face-off, James. They've had a ton of urgency in the flat last few shifts, and they found a way to get the go-ahead goal here. They're going to need to really work hard to hold the lead because you know that their opponent, they're going to have a bit of urgency here. And he takes the dish. The Monsters are on the attack. And that's poked away by Walsh. Quick feed to Kaiser. The Monsters take possession in the neutral zone. Slides the puck across to Walsh. Moves around along the half wall. Cross ice speed in the offensive end. And the crowd urging for them to shoot as time ticks down. Freeze has it and freezes the play. Cleveland's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Cleveland's ahead right now, and that's the operative word right now, James, because this has been back and forth. This is all about high-flying offense. I know that you'll love this type of game. Jaeger's moving the puck through his own zone. And he takes the pass. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves the puck. Mitchell's got it in the defensive end. Pushes it across to Lauco. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves the puck down the Scores! It's in the back of the net! Wait a second here. I don't think this is going to count, James. The official waves it off right away. And Gotta wonder whether it was tipped, redirected off of the skate, or whether there was a kicking motion. So two distinct things here. If you kick or make that move, the forward motion of your foot towards the net, it will be a no goal. But if it's redirected, that's fine. are in transition. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Crosby. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Greaves. Oh, wow, stops him again. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Can't maintain possession after that. 
that hit. Sends it over to Crosby. To his teammate. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Slick feed. He's got two goals already. Pucks on his stick. He's hunting his third. Tosses it to Mete. Providence has got it in their own zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled. Oh, save of the play! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. possession inside the defensive zone. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. And you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Providence has gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, and you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. you got to be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. Moves it to Sarasati. Grabbed along the board by Kirk. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. The Bruins cross the line and gain the zone. Oh, on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Handles the pass. Turns him away. Picked up along the boards by Olivier. Oh, how did he get a blow on that? What a stop by Greaves. Springfield's on the schedule next, and Kip is still available for this one, so get him before you go. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man of hand. Providence has won it, now they'll go on the attack. Shoots it, he scores! And with that number 50 in terms of the point total on the season. Well, that's got to feel good, James. I mean, he gets his 50th point, he notches the ball right there, and he knows that he's playing with a ton of confidence. 
confidence right now. His ability to finish, to know where everyone is around him, just complimenting his teammates. He's been excellent this season. I think there's a song being played in the goaltender's ear because this puck was just whistled stick side. I mean, unbelievable shot. Far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Kirk. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Can't connect. What a steal in his own end. Bumped off the puck. Poked away by Mitchell. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. And that one's stolen at center ice. Cleveland's got the puck against the boards. Turned aside with a glove by Kaiser. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. continues despite the fact that this was a game that was theirs for the taking. Yeah, and it's extremely frustrating, right? You felt like you could have had it. You came out on fire and you just weren't able to capitalize and get it done. So you have to figure out a way to reset here, James. Easier said than done now. You can feel the energy just zapped out of this group. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski, true Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.